Hello friends, this is Assistant Professor Vikram Joshi bringing you a small video which highlights the difference between a superconductor and a perfect conductor. Let us first look at what is conductor. These are the materials that allow the flow of charge which is otherwise known as electrical current. But the current dissipates in the conductor due to resistance when the power is removed. So the question arises. Can we have a conductor which can remove this problem? If yes, what do we name it? Do we name it superconductor or do we name it a perfect conductor? Well, both terms are used in physics. Let's look at what is the basic difference between them. When a superconductor is placed in an external magnetic field, under room temperature, we would notice the field lines passing through the material. A similar situation can be observed in case of a perfect conductor. It must be noticed that both situations take place at room temperature. So what happens to the setup when we cool it down below a certain critical temperature? In case of a superconductor, we will find that it expels out all the magnetic field from its body. Whereas in perfect conductor, we find that the setup is still unchanged. It does not expel magnetic field. Let us modify the setup even further. If we remove the external magnetic field from the setup, the object goes back to being in its original form. Whereas a perfect conductor, even when the external field is removed, retains back the magnetic field. That means the perfect conductor retains magnetism. To explain this phenomenon in short, let us have a look at Meissner effect. When the conductor is made to pass over to superconducting phase by cooling it below its critical temperature, the magnetic field is expelled from within the conductor. So to sum it up, a perfect conductor is a flux conserving medium and a superconductor is a flux expelling medium. Let us finish this video with a few more differences. Superconductivity is a phenomenon occurring in real life, while perfect conductivity is an assumption made to ease the calculations. Perfect conductors can have any temperature, but superconductors only exist below the critical temperature of the material. Due to expulsion of magnetic field, superconductors tend to float in presence of external magnetic field, which can't be observed in perfect conductors. Friends, I hope with this short video, the basic difference between a superconductor and a perfect conductor are clear. Stay tuned to more such videos on basics of physics. Thank you.